This episode brought to you by PatrioticLegacy.com. Patriot's choice for emergency preparedness, survival gear, and everyday carry. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. Good evening. Tonight we will hear the retelling of a true classic from one of the world's most respected historical chroniclers and slayer of corn pop and whose rapist wit is only outmatched by his eagle-like focus and bearing. Former Vice President and Democrat Party presidential candidate, Joe Biden. By the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. What in the hell did I just listen to? Between Biden's previously recorded interactions with kids and now this bizarre story, it's pretty obvious to see that the media is deep in the Joe tank. So they want Joe Biden as the candidate and they're carrying his water, but why? Do they really think that this guy can go up against Trump? Trump is gonna have him turned around and debating with the wall. But oh yeah, he already did that. Folks, I learned something early on from my family and my mom and dad. They said, Joey, nobody is better than you, but everyone is your equal. Everyone is your equal. And folks. Oh man. So relatable. This guy wouldn't have a chance and definitely wouldn't be the front runner if it weren't for the sycophantic DNC media. They'd all be making fun of him, but instead they're just carrying his water and running cover for him. Not only is he saying crazy sh he's doing crazy sh Like bite his wife's finger in the middle of a campaign speech. What the hell? President of the United States. <laughs> just, just so relatable. What in the hell is he doing? This dude is so f weird. You know, why am I even upset that the media is pushing him as a candidate? This has the potential to be the most hilarious presidential campaign ever witnessed. Trump will rain down blow after blow while Biden just screams at the sky about malarkey. That's all I got for you today. I want to do a short video so I could bring you all up to speed on just a couple things. First of all, I just want to thank everybody who sent me a recording of them saying it's different when we do it, which is of course a reference to the fact that the media and Democrats judge their political opposition by a completely different set of standards than they hold themselves to. I had only gotten a few at the time that I actually needed it and I did use it in a video, but I am going to use these for something else in the future. And I'm going to go ahead and just post all the videos that people sent me so you all can see it. Also, I do apologize for the lack of content over the last five days, but I was in the boondocks of Vermont where fast internet is still a long ways off. Still, it's nice to step away from all this madness and just get refreshed. If you want to support this channel, you can find all the links in the description and the pinned comment.